Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have a mini toy haul. Um... Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. There's a thrift store that's local and they have um, limited hours. They are only open one day a week for three hours. They have stuff that they put outside that is free. So these are my free items. And I, I didn't feel right about not paying for them, even though they're in the free section. I have no idea why they were in the free section. They look great to me. So when I checked out inside, I gave them extra money and just told them to take it because I got some stuff from the free pile. So this was from the free pile. It's a Marshall Paw Patrol. Not sure what this is, but it looked interesting. And it does something. So I need to look into that. This I just thought was adorable and I've sold these before, but this is Peter Rabbit and Friends. It's a bowl. It's by Eden. It is vintage. Super cute. I got this little um, VTech. It needs a battery, but it must have been in the store and after things are in the store, they must just put them outside for people to take if they don't sell. This originally had a dollar on it. So, um, again, same thing. These look like some sort of mold or something. They're from Ikea. I don't know. This one's still sealed. So, maybe I'll try and sell it. I don't know. I just saw the toys. So, this is an Imaginex ball. And a lot of times I pick up play sets that are missing the ball. So, I thought that would be good. I recognize this guy. He is from, um, oh gosh, what show is that? Puppy Dog Pals. So I figured I could uh, lot him up or sell him. And then I've got these guys that are um, construction workers. I believe they're vintage. I can't remember what they're called, but I will either lot them up or sell them. And then there's just a couple more things in there that maybe I can put in a toy lot or something like that. So again, these items were in the free box, but I did pay for them. I just, you know, I mean, I don't know why they were free. It's good stuff. So I figured I'm gonna make some money on it. I might as well make a donation. So that's what I did. Okay. So let's look at the stuff that I bought inside the store. This was pretty much a toy haul and I got this, I believe that says 20 cents. So um, I'll have to figure out how on earth I'm gonna get that sticker off. But it is a um, PJ Masks and it has, um, what's his name? Gecko and Owlette, the two characters. So I got them and I'll list this. I'll probably just try, I think I might have the cat boy, the blue character. So I will add him in and probably sell it as a lot. I'm not sure. And it works, so um, that's good. They had lots of toys that were in bags like this. I turned it off. Oh, it's on try me mode. Okay, so this bag was $1 for all the toys in here. So let's see what we got. The reason, one of the reasons I got this is because I thought these were little people, but now I don't think they are. I don't know what this is, but I should be able to sell it. Maybe it goes in. Yeah, he fits in here. So that looks like a Fisher Price toy. Um, I'm not seeing any markings, so I'll probably use Google Lens to figure this out. But it also has this princess. So I thought it was cute. I like selling stuff like that. It's typically bread and butter, but I don't know who this is. A lot of this stuff is just 
a lot of smalls that I'm gonna have to uh, look up and see if they're worth listing. And if they're not, I will just lot them up. This is from Beauty and the Beast because I recognize the little cup. But a lot of times, some of these cake toppers can do really, really well. I've never seen this one before, so I will look that up and maybe sell it individually. And then we've got a couple Pluto. This one is a Little People, so that's good. I'll sell that. I don't know what this guy is. Another car and another car. So I got that stuff for a dollar. I got lots of bags of toys. So if you guys like selling toys, stay tuned. I have no idea who this pretty little girl is. It says, don't stop believing on her shirt. She's got a unicorn. She was 20 cents, which is odd. You'd think they'd go with 25, but um, I don't know. Uh, MGA. Uh, it's got these little, I don't know. But anyway, does anybody know who she is? She's got eyelashes. I just thought she was cute and she was 20 cents. I figured I could sell her. It looks like you can maybe do something with her belly. Um, maybe she needs a battery. I don't know what goes back here. Maybe she's missing something. I don't know. But for 20 cents, whatever. This is a clip clop horse. You guys have heard me talk about those. So this little horse goes clip clop like that and it goes down a, um, it goes with a play set. Unfortunately, they wrote 10 cents on this. So let's try something here. All right, so typically if you take a dry erase marker and you write over it, it usually will take that off. So there you go, and it is off. Dry erase marker, guys, and you can see I have used this on other things. It is pretty much a mess. All right, let's see what's in this bag. This bag was 50 cents. Oh, maybe this was the bag with the little people. Okay, so we have, it looks like two a prince or a king and a princess and these are little people I'm not sure which two these are they're not looking familiar to me but it looks like they've got their little carriage and they fit on to that and this says Mattel so um, I thought that little people were Fisher Price but those maybe those aren't I don't know I could be wrong. So this is another one that is Fisher Price Little People. You can see it's right here on the back. But that one says Mattel. So I'm gonna have to research that a little. I thought they, well, it goes with it. So that's odd. So does, does it? <laughs> Everything seems to be making sense, but this says Mattel and this says Fisher Price. So I'm a little confused. I'll have to research it. This, I believe, is just like a McDonald's toy. Um, this is cute. It's a little cow with a little heart. Oh, I don't know what brand this is, but look how cute it is. Um, and then here's Mama, maybe. I don't know, there's no, I don't see any brand. If anybody knows, let me know. Another um, Little People Mickey, so I can put that with the Pluto and maybe sell those together that was in the other one. We have a tiger, just a plastic tiger. This is, I don't know if this is like a McDonald's toy or what. And then I just found a little Lego. Lego guy, can't go wrong with those. Legos are great. All right, let me grab another bag. Okay, this bag was $1. And I'm guessing this is probably just made for McDonald's. Yep, but I can put it in a lot. Again, this might be the same thing. I'm gonna show you which toy caught my eye here in a second. I don't know, but again, that is Lego made for McDonald's. But 
some of these McDonald's toys do have a market. So this one is My Little Pony. Okay, so these caught my eye. There's two of them. And they probably go with a play set. They both rattle. So I'm going to try to figure out what they go. I can sell them as replacements if they do go with a set. But super cute. Definitely can sell those together. I forget what they're called. This also caught my eye. Um, I forget what it, it's. Um, I don't know. She must do. Maybe she pees. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe they squirt water. It, I don't know. MGA, I think, does the LOL dolls, too. This is a McDonald's toy. This is a slap bracelet. Oh, good. This So this goes with this. So I can definitely sell those three together. That'll be good. And I think this might go with it also. Yep. Wow, it's a four-piece. I didn't even notice that. This, I believe, is a Barbie dog. Um, I'm pretty certain it's got the, the bobblehead. And we got a little pig. I don't know, I don't think that's anything. I think this is McDonald's. And then there's just a couple other, there's a My Little Pony in here. Sorry, I hit the tripod. My Little Pony. Um, I mean, that could go to something that somebody might need it, who knows. I don't know what this is. Some sort of like little bracelet. Anybody ever seen one of those? It's got the head on the other side. Can you guys see it? I don't know if my camera's focusing. And then this looks like it's, those are wood. These two are wood. So I'm not sure what those go with. All right, let me grab another bag. Okay, so this was 20 cents. Um, I didn't check to see if it was actually new or if, let's look. Uh-oh. I'm tearing the box. I don't want to tear the box. Here it is now. Uh, it looks like stuff's in the packaging. So it is new. Um, you can see in there. I have not, I didn't look it up. It was 20 cents. I figured for 20 cents, I'll take a chance. Uh, it looks like it came from Walmart. But this is a problem, right? So let's see if the dry, dry erase marker works. I don't know if it's gonna work on, I'm gonna hold it. I don't know if you guys can. Okay, need my paper towel. Maybe, let me get it wet. All right. Uh, well, it looks better than 20 cents, I suppose, but you can still, you can see, let me try. Yeah, well, it doesn't say 20 cents anymore because I can't really sell it for big money. Well, not even big money, even bread and butter if it says 20 cents. So I will take that and just disclose it that it's kind of got a mark on it. And I don't know what it's valued at. I'll have to look it up, but it's got to be valued at more than 20 cents. This was 25 cents. I It kind of looked like a troll. So I thought I would look it up. I have no idea what it is. It's got a Z. I, I think I've sold one of these before, but it was a miniature one. But the little arms move. So definitely gonna look her up. The next item I got was this little bag for 50 cents. Um, this is, I think, one of those where, yeah, it balances on your finger or, isn't that cool? Uh, this is like a little finger puppet. This kinda, I thought was interesting. People sometimes like things like this. You see, it, you go like that and the fingers move. It is marked something. I'm gonna have to get, Hold on, let me look here, my glasses. It is marked McDonald's, so probably not a score, but it, it is kind of cool. So I'll look it up. 
You never know. Sometimes I don't know what that is. But this is what caught my eye in this one. Some of these Backy Gons are valuable. Um, if you take a magnet, they pop open. And they're like little um, transformer type balls. And then you have to figure out how to put them back together. You take them off the magnet. The things fold in. I'm horrible at these things. And then it's a ball again. It's some sort of game. But I always pick those up at garage sales. This is a vintage one, I do believe. Um, the ones that are more modern are a little bit bigger in size. Um, I don't know if that's just like a... I have no idea what these things are. So I'll try to Google image search some of them. All right, let me grab another bag. Okay, so this is an LOL doll, but she's big and I've never seen a big one like this. So I figured I would take a chance. I don't see a price on her, so I don't know what I paid for her. I'll tell you my total for everything at the end. Um, the next thing I got was this bag of Paw Patrol items, which was 50 cents which is a super score in my opinion, because I got Everest, who Everest is pretty sought after. She's a little harder to find. I got Ryder's um, four wheeler and I sell a lot of Paw Patrol, so I'm pretty familiar with it. And I don't know if that opens or not. As I say, I'm familiar with it. I'm like, does that open? But this is Rocky in his little vehicle. So 50 cents for those. Are very cool. I saw these sitting on a shelf. We got Pluto, Donald, and Goofy. They are 10 cents each. They are marked Disney. I don't know. Uh oh, my dog heard that. <laughs> if they are supposed to squeak or not, but again, I'm gonna have to use the dry erase trick to get that 10 cents off. I will more than likely sell these as a lot, so I have 30 cents in the three figures there. All right, I'm gonna grab another bag. Let's see if this will work, just since we're trying it out today on different materials. This one doesn't seem to wanna, this could be bad for me because I can't sell it. They may have used permanent marker. That's no good. It's not coming off. Well, that is a complete bummer. So I'm not sure. Maybe I can try like an alcohol pad or I'm not sure what to do about that. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments because all three of them, I don't know why stores do that. It's so upsetting um, to me. Like just get a sticker. So, all right, give me a minute. Okay, it wasn't really a minute. But, so another one of these cars. <laughs> so they do different things. This one was 50 cents for the bag. I don't recall why I grabbed this bag. Um, oh, this is a good one. So it looks a little dirty and the tail is broke. So maybe not so good. Uh, that one's probably gonna go in the trash. But it's the horse from one of those princess shows. I can't remember which horse it is. You guys probably know. Put it down in the comments if you do. But it's a cake topper. And uh, if it wasn't missing the tail, I would have sold that separately. So this bag might be a, might have been a bad buy. Because, oh, this was what I saw. That, this is why I bought the bag. Because Easter's coming. But I don't know if it works. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. So it's broke. So that bag's a womp womp. It's got a uh, My Little Pony in it, but she's got issues too. So these items are pretty much, this is a Burger King toy. And so that is a 50 cents that wah wah. This is good, but I didn't get it. That was a different bag. I got these Build-A-Bear shoes. Um, and these may have not been that great either. Uh, 
50 cents. I'm looking at the tennis shoes and they look to be a little bit stained. I am a fast shopper, you guys. I don't look things over very good if they're cheap. I just grab and go. I am just one of those people. So a lot of times I get home and I'm like, oh, shouldn't have bought that. So this, they're a little dirty along here. They might be okay. I might be able to clean them up. I might be able to just throw them in the washing machine, but the fur, it doesn't look great. Um, these are really stained. Yuck. So this one doesn't look too bad. They're Skechers. They're Build-A-Bear Skechers. So unfortunately, that's not looking great. This is a little heel, which is so funny. Uh, this pair, it, it doesn't look too bad. I may try to sell this pair. These look pretty good. So maybe I'll try to wash the other ones. I don't know, maybe I'll just get rid of them. And we have this item. This bag and one more. So this is a little people, so I always grab those. And then they usually sit in my basement in a tote of, I'm gonna list all these little people once I have six million. That's what I do with little people. So she sits right on there. She's a Fisher Price riding a bike. So super, super cute. I need to just make myself list these and not play around with uh, some old crayons. So I did see the Paw Patrol puppets in here, which unfortunately there's only two. I have sold these before when I had more. So I might hang on to those. And the other thing I saw is this Peppa the pig. I think it's the dad but I'm looking now and hey, he's pretty uh, paint chipped up. But I do have some other Peppa the Pip Pig items that maybe I can lock that up with. I just got one of these in my uh, toy haul, my Facebook toy haul, so maybe I'll put that with that. And I don't know what this little guy goes to. Okay, I have one more bag for you guys, little bag. Okay, this is the last bag, it was 50 cents. And it has these little guys. I think there's some sort of treasure hunter thing that's kind of popular right now. I don't really know. I'm going to have to look it up. This is a, I believe, McDonald's Mario, I think. And then we've got some cars. So the thing I wanted to look up is these guys. I don't know if... These are like collectible and some are harder to find and they're considered rare. So definitely gonna take a peek and see what I can find out about these. All right, I noticed that they did not give me a receipt. So I paid $10 total for all of that stuff. Again, if you know who this girl is, let me know. I know I can do Google Lens, but if anybody knows, put it down in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed my toy haul. Just a quick little haul. Um, I didn't get any footage of me in the store. I just decided to come home and show you guys what I got in this format. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your favorite toy was. If you've sold some of these toys, definitely share with me if you made a good profit or if it's, I think most of it'll be bread and butter, but I enjoy toys. So stay tuned. For Okay, Bolo Buddies, I am going to turn $10 into over $300, and I am showing you 29 listings that I have pulled from this lot of toys that I picked up at this thrift store. Now, these are all smalls, and a lot of people will not list bread and butter, but I am going to turn $10 into over $300 by the time all of these items sell. So, tell me. Do you think this is worth it or do you think bread and butter is not worth it? Please put your comments down below. I know there's a lot of different opinions on it, but I have found that I really enjoy listing small items that are easy to ship, easy to list, easy to photograph, and they add up to big profits. They sell well. So this next item right here, this is probably more of a big money item, not a huge money item, but more than $35 I think I can get for that. So that one was pretty good. The rest are just smalls, small bread and butter items that are going to add up to big profits. 
So again, I'm just showing you the listings that I got from this lot and I have looked up comps. I do price a little on the high side because I run a 15 to 20% off sale. Some of them are already marked down and then I also offer best offer on my items. All right, you guys, I'm going to finish showing you just a few more listings here. And I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments about this haul. I think it was a great haul. I'm super excited and I'm definitely going to go back next week because I love toys and I love how they bag their toys and sell them cheap. So i um, super excited to go back. So stay tuned for more videos like this and let me know if you like this video format. All right, you guys have a great night and we got a few more here and as always thanks for watching i appreciate it and i do need to get these items cross posted to mercari and poshmark and i used list perfectly for that it's an extension coupon code referral code bolo buddies will get you 30 percent off your first month be sure to check out the description of the video like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching